Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the channel. We're the Wayward Wags. I'm Dustin. I'm Leslie. And uh, our channel is going to be all about full-time RV prep. We are, I think it's safe to say we're pretty close to the year yeah. mark. Yeah, year up. And the reason why is because our daughter Lauren is in high school. It's her senior year. And as soon as she graduates, she'll be heading off to college. Yeah. And we really can't take off until she's gone. So I'm still gonna work for a while until um, it gets closer to time to go. If she was gone, we'd, we'd be, be gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> she's been at the same high school for a long time, so kind of wanted to get her out and, and settled into college and things like that before we actually hit the road. But there's a lot to do before mm -hmm. then. We still have to sell our house. We have to do a lot of downsizing. Uh, we have to maybe sell a lot of stuff. I don't know what that's going to look like. I know Lauren's going to take some of that stuff with her depending on where she lives. We're also going to talk about places that we think we want to travel. Yeah. I want to do some videos where we kind of reveal some of the places that we want to travel or we think we want to travel. And then once we get out on the road, that'll be a good comparison to look back and see like, we were super excited about seeing this. Did it meet our expectations? Was it not so good? Um, so I kind of want to do some, you know, top places we want to visit, and then uh, we'll find out from others where we should go visit. Yeah, and we've been watching a ton of people on YouTube and checking out you guys' travel videos, and we're going to talk a lot more about why we decided to go RVing full time, what prompted us to make that life-altering decision, and why we decided to start a YouTube channel. Uh, we'll do some videos that'll go a lot more into detail in that um, and we'll also talk about timelines like when we're going to buy an RV um, you know when we're going to be and selling our house and take off day yeah launch day we haven't uh, officially published the launch day we're going to talk about some of the the YouTubers that we watch and some of the people who have inspired us to mm -hmm. to get out on the road what you're going to see in the next year or so is you're going to see a lot of prepping downsizing, expectation videos, you're going to see lots of local adventures. Got to so, get our feet wet. Yeah, well we're going to buy the, the RV way before we actually launch full time. So we're going to go out and do some local camping, local exploring, and we're even going to do that before we get the RV. And we'll share that stuff. And, and we already have a lot of videos of places that we've already just been checking out and stuff. And you know a lot of that, the reason we started the channel so early is so we could get better at it before we actually leave and you know once we hit the road we want it to be quality stuff we want you know our our shooting skills and our editing skills and our people skills <laughs> to be better and i've heard a lot of the youtubers that we watch and they talk about themselves and how they are introverts they got nothing yeah. nothing on this one i got them licked you know i'm an extrovert I like to talk, I like to meet people, I'm very outgoing, outspoken, and you know, opposites attract. Yes. And Leslie's not the talker. No. That's okay. We're going to get her out of her shell. So. We're like the uh, pen and teller of the RV <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but let me tell you this, if you ever meet us in person, or if you ever see us and come and hang out with us, in a personal setting. It's different it's a lot different. If we have a lot in common, and I think we will have a lot in common with the people that we're gonna run into on the road, I think on a personal level, once you get her talking, it's game over. She'll talk to you all night. Um, but has never been the public speaking type. No. And I mean, we're sitting right here right now in, in the woods. By ourselves. By ourselves, <laughs> talking to a camera. That's the problem. And she's still like, I know that there is an audience mm -hmm. behind that lens. Somebody's staring at me. I'm going to go ahead and apologize ahead of time because there's going to be a lot of video of Scout. Um, I, I would say there probably is going to be a, more videos of <laughs> Scout and pictures and things like that on our Facebook and Instagram, you know, than there was of our daughter. Yeah. Growing up. <laughs> Now that's not saying that we love Scout more than Lauren. That's just saying my life would, had to be very personal 
by nature until to, until now until recently. until recently because I was in the military for 20 years I was a leader in the military uh, you can't really share a lot of your personal life or your personal experiences when you're in the military you can't talk a lot about what you're doing where you're going um, deployments uh, I mean you're just and you're super busy so we didn't get the opportunity to do this uh, before which we do now um, and documenting that stuff so by default Scout's gonna yeah. get a lot of airtime. Mm -hmm. Scout's gonna be with us full time on the road. Mm -hmm. We're gonna share with you like his setup, play spots, <laughs> all the cool stuff that uh, the Scout's gonna have along the road. Uh, we're gonna really focus now. We're gonna focus yeah. on RV prep, and it's gonna be um, a more defined channel. And then once we launch, it's gonna change. Mm -hmm. It'll no longer be about prepping and expectations and getting ready. It'll be about life on the road but in motion yeah what we're really experiencing out on the road mm -hmm. we want it to be real if our black tank explodes mm -hmm. and there's crap all over the inside of the rv we should show you that that's part of <laughs> what's going to happen to you if we have a blowout if we get pulled over by the cops if we you know if we run out of money and have to <laughs> stay at an rv site for a couple months and work camp we want to show you the reality of what it's going to be like on the road. Um, so we don't want to hide all the bad stuff and we don't want to falsely encourage anybody to hit the road thinking this is going to be awesome and it's going to be wonderful. We know that life is going to happen. Yes. We already have that expectation. Bad things are going to happen on the road. <laughs> There's not going to be all kids and rainbows. No. You know? Yeah. And I think we owe it to whoever's watching to show them the real side of it. Yeah. Uh, being military, uh, we've always moved. We've been in this area for about six years. Yeah, six, almost seven six and years. And, a half, yeah. and this is the longest we've ever been anywhere. And we've seen a lot of the, the local stuff. We're going to revisit some of that stuff just to be able to show you guys um, some of the cool stuff that's in this area. We're in the Columbus, Georgia area, by the way. And um, because I think once we leave and we go out, I don't know how often we'll come back here yeah. and visit this stuff. So I want to hit as much of that stuff locally as we can. Um, for those of you who are not from this area and you're you know, full-time and traveling around, um, this might be an area to, to stop and hang out in. So we're gonna show you some of the stuff here before we, before we leave. There's a lot of history here. There's lots of cool stuff. I think one of the biggest challenges for us, even with you being an introvert, me being an extrovert, is vlogging in public. Yeah. Vlogging in public is awkward. It is. We see YouTubers do this all the time, and they seem really cool with it. And even with me being an extrovert, it's just awkward. Yeah. It's weird because, you know, people are staring at you. And I'm like, what is this? What are they doing? They're talking to themselves. They're talking to, and, and <laughs> I want to tell you, we don't have a fancy camera. Yeah. We don't have like one of the big guys with the boom mic and the, no. all that stuff. So it doesn't look like we're doing anything professional. professional. <laughs> It just yeah. looks like we're talking through a little <laughs> camera. And they're like, what? I guess it's probably more accepted nowadays because people kind of know that there's bloggers out there and things like that. But I mean, it, it's awkward and it takes your attention away because you can see people staring, staring at you. Yeah, around. it's distracting. And no, we're gonna do it anyway. They're staring. And uh, we're just gonna fight through the awkwardness. And I hope that you guys will um, will come along and hang out with us. Look for us about once a week. Um, can't promise every week. I mean, if we got stuff going on, um, we just won't do it. Um, but we're gonna try to at least get a video out a week and between now and the time we get out, that's probably another 40 or 50 videos. So we got a lot a lot of stuff coming up. If you got an idea what, what you wanna see next, we don't know what our next video is gonna be yet. I got, a, I got a, like a list of like 30 different things that I got ideas for, but if there's something you wanna see in particular, let us know. Yeah. We'll do it. Yep. Gotta give them what they want. Mm -hmm. Y'all are in charge. <laughs> <laughs> We're slung for a ride. That's right. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> Is that a wrap? Thanks. So. Cool. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> one of the one of my weaknesses is that and and this is a lot of the reason why I wear sunglasses. I didn't mean to point at you. Mm -hmm. But 
I look at the thing up here. Yeah? Yeah. I'm supposed to look at the lens. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. I look up here at myself. Yeah. As I like looking at myself. <laughs> Well, you're supposed to look at the lens, so that's why I'm wearing sunglasses all the time. Yeah. Like sometimes even inside, you probably see me wearing sunglasses because I have a bad habit. If you watch the videos, I'll look up at the thing. I'll be watching myself, you know. And this is just like a reference just to make sure we're still in the frame and we're not, yeah. you know, way crazy off. But to me, I'm like watching myself. Yeah, I think that's natural. Yeah. It's not natural to stare at the lens. So I got to train myself to look at the lens. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at the lens right now. You can't see because I'm wearing my sunglasses. Yeah. It's kind of cool when you see when you like you uh, look at your phone and you see the little YouTube icon. Yeah. You're like, ooh, what is this? It's like a little surprise. Mm -hmm. You're like, is this a notification that one of my uh, favorite YouTubers just uploaded a video, mm -hmm. or did someone comment on my video? Do I have a new subscriber? It's like Christmas. Suspense. Every time the little YouTube icon pops up on your phone, you're like, ooh, what's this gonna be? <laughs>